So we finally have some information about patch 10.1, Dragonflight's next patch, the next season, the next tier that's coming out. And there are a lot of really cool things coming that we don't fully know about yet. Class changes, uh, you know, new tier bonuses, stuff like that. But what we do know is that everyone's favorite neck piece, the Elemental Lariat, is getting some substantial changes. But don't worry, you're not going to have to get rid of it. You don't have to delete it. You're not going to have to make it again. You just probably won't use it right away. So the changes that they're making are to the proc effect. So as of right now, when the proc happens, you get 12 seconds of whatever buff that it's giving you from your elemental gems in all of your character slots. You get 12 seconds of it. The change that they're making to it is they are making it more in line with the jewel crafting trinkets, which give you a bigger buff for each gem that you have in your character. So the way it's gonna work is they're reducing the proc to five seconds baseline. So I have some notes here. Essentially, it's gonna start at five seconds base duration, and then you get plus one second for each elemental gem. So right away in your elemental lariat, you're gonna have two extra gems, right? You're gonna have uh, the two that you can put on there with the jewel crafting item you can buy from the auction house. That's gonna give you two gems. So right away, you're gonna get two elemental gems in your neck and the primary stat one doesn't count. And then for each one after that, like say you get a gem in your helm, that's three gems total. You get one in your belt, that's four gems total. Gem in your wrist, that's five. And then two elemental gems in your rings, so one each, that's a total of seven. So if you add five seconds base duration plus the extra seven seconds you get from all your gems, that brings you back up to the original 12 second duration. So what this means is we are likely going to be using this elemental lariat again towards the end of the patch. But what it also means is at the start of the patch, we're actually going to be able to use some of the necks that we're getting from Mythic Plus or from Raid or wherever else you might be finding neck pieces because of the nerf to the, the, the proc, it's going to bring it more in line and the other neck pieces you're finding are going to actually be worth it. Um, so this is a great change. I think it's a much better way to tackle this other than, you know, just completely destroying the Lariat and making it, you know, absolute crap because there'd be a lot of people upset at that. Um, there's a lot of people that like this neck. It's, I think it's really cool. I like the way it works. There's some cool little like things you can do with it where you can get like multiple different buffs. You can't get them at the same time, but if you're a class that likes two different uh, secondary stats, you can, you know, set it up in a way that you're getting both. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this neck. Some other people might argue that it's kind of annoying to just have a neck slot completely, you know, locked in for the entire patch. And I think this change helps with that, right? So what else does this mean? This means that at the start of the tier, if we're not using a Lariat, that's gonna free up an embellishment slot. Because as of right now, one of our two embellishments is taken up right away, right? We have the, the Lariat proc, and then we have whatever else you choose to get. Uh, for example, I have blue silk and lining, so I have that on my ring, and those are my two. And then, you know, I might also have the uh, alchemical flavor pocket, but that doesn't really count as one but the Lariat is taking up one of my two. So if we're not using the Lariat right away at the start of the tier, that frees up that spot for us to get something else. Whether that be maybe you use Fang Adornments and Blue Silken Lining, or you use something else, like maybe the Flaring Cowl, or one of the two boots that have the procs on them, or whatever. Um, so we're gonna have to figure that out. And there are some new things that are being added in patch 10.1 in terms of crafted gear. Not all of them are implemented into the PTR yet. There are a few, and there aren't ones for like each profession yet. So it makes me think they're gonna be adding to this list and there's probably gonna be more that we're not able to see right now. Like for example, right at the top here, there's a brand new two-handed mace. Obviously not something we can use, but this just goes to show that they are working on adding more and we can probably expect to get some some pretty cool things. So there's a brand new two-handed mace here. 
so there's these boots that we might potentially wear. They're crit haste, so not the worst stats. Uh, they're heavy haste though, so that won't really be that useful for the throw glaive build, but we don't even know if we're gonna be using that in the new patch, so we'll have to see. But either way, this does have a proc effect that we might get some use out of. I don't know. Uh, the thorns feed off your vitality, reducing stamina by 48, which kind of sucks. Your spells and abilities have a chance to launch magical thorns at your target, healing allies for 5,600 or striking enemies for 2,503 nature damage. These effects are increased by 100% if you equip if you equip an item crafted with a toxified armor patch. Now, there's also this cloak, the undulating spore cloak. This is another one, and you can tell it's new because it says NYI, meaning not yet implemented. But this is a cloak you can put stats on it, and when you equip it, when you're above 70% health, you gain an amount of leech and heal for an amount every five seconds. When below 30% health, the symbiotic spores embedded in your cloak expand, granting a shield that absorbs an amount of damage for 10 seconds. This effect can only occur once every two minutes. I don't know how good this is going to be, but it could be very good for tanks. Sounds like, you know, just getting that extra amount of leech is pretty decent. Um, it might be a good defensive option for us too as Havoc, I'm not sure. But again, this is just showing that they are kind of working on things and adding more embellishments into the system. There's also a shield here, obviously for, you know, tanks or, yeah. Oh, it has intellect on it too, so it's strength or intellect. Um, taking damage has a chance to store stacks of Hellsteel Immolation. After receiving five stacks, your next ability will release the stored energy dealing an amount of Shadow Flame damage to all enemies in Y radius. This effect repeats for each stack of Hellsteel Immolation. Pretty cool. But yeah, again, just showing that they're adding more items. I do suspect that we're going to see more of these types of items slowly make their way into the PTR. And uh, I'm hoping there are some cool ones for Demon Hunters to use. Um, there are also... This is a, a new one. We can't use this, but again, this is just showing that there are new crafted items with new embellishments that they're putting into the game. Uh, your spells have a chance to activate the spores inside the baton, causing them to rush to your aid. If you're aiding an ally, the spores will provide them with 782 verse for 12 seconds. If you're attacking an enemy, they will instead deal 6,000 nature damage to your target over 12 seconds, while shielding you for 3,200. Um, there are these boots. Slimy Expulsion Boots. Uh, these are Verse Mastery. These boots ooze a toxic slime, which slows your actions, reducing haste by 85. Your attacks will occasionally splash slime onto your target, dealing 3,129 nature damage. These effects are increased by 100% if you equip an item crafted with a toxified armor patch. Could be cool. Again, if we're playing the Throw Glaive build, I think it's okay if we lose a little bit of haste depending on what the proc rate on this is. Um, so we'll have to see. I think that's it in terms of new stuff as of right now. But there are definitely going to be a, a lot of new stuff here that we could potentially get. I know there's like all new um, armor kits to put on your, on your legs. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. So uh, yeah, if we're not using the Lariat right off the bat, I think that is going to be pretty cool for us because we're gonna have we're gonna have that opportunity to mess around with some other embellishments and see what cool stuff we can come up with. So that's what's happening for the Elemental Lariat. This is happening in patch 10.1, so you don't have to worry about this yet. This is probably a few months ahead in the future. Like I said, you're not gonna have to delete your Lariat. You're not gonna have to get rid of it. You can just you know it's gonna go on vacation for a little bit. It's gonna sit in your bags. It's gonna chill out for a while and. Uh, you know, as you get higher in, it in item level throughout the tier, once you start getting some sockets on your gear, then you'll have to sim it and see at what point the proc effect is, uh, you know, lasting long enough with its duration to actually be worth replacing the other neck that you have. There's really no way of telling, like, what the threshold is, right? Is it going to be five gems? Is it going to be six? Is it going to be your full character sheet? Who knows? It's going to depend on, your, depend on your class, depend on your spec, depend on how much you value your stats, so on and so forth. So, um, But, you know, I'll be sure to update you guys on that as I find out more information as it pertains to Havoc DH. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you sub to the YouTube channel. There's going to be a lot more content coming out on this channel in the very near future. We're going to be getting that information that we're all wanting, like the tier set bonuses, uh, and a lot of Mythic Plus stuff. 
it's all coming very, very soon. So make sure you sub to the channel and keep an eye on this channel. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Peace.